You done with finals? I, I barely. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever passed my last one. We'll see. Is it difficult to have guys focus on those and make sure they get the score within a few time, right? Yeah, you know, this is always a difficult week. We've been off the last couple of days. The, the lion's share of their, their finals and their projects that we're due were Monday and Tuesday. So we should be uh, a little bit better today and tomorrow. But we, we just got to get back into it today, get back into the flow, get our minds right, and get to, uh, you know, get on the way to start preparing for Cal. Coach, what's been the biggest difference since Boise State? This team looks like a different team. You know, we've played 10 games and we've played pretty well in nine of them. So uh, it's really impossible to go through a 30-some game schedule and be perfect every night. And on the night that we weren't perfect, the team that we played was. And that's going to happen once in a while. Uh, but you know, we, we probably didn't compete as hard as we needed to compete in that particular game. And there, there could be several reasons for that. Uh, but uh, we seem to be refocused and re-energized, and our execution has been uh, outstanding the last three games, and it'll, that's going to need to continue this weekend. How tough, but you did a couple of these last year. How tough these West Coast road trips for your games aren't until 10 p.m. Saturday? Yeah, you know, we're, in, we're going out Thursday night. Originally, I thought it was going to be an afternoon game, uh, and we wanted to make sure we got there and got settled. Um, and then, then it turned out to be an 8 o'clock game. Had I known that, we would have traveled until Friday. But, you know, we'll get out there. We'll have a chance to practice on Friday afternoon. You know, maybe walk around the Fisherman's Wharf a little bit and let the guys see the place uh, before we play on Saturday. With Josh on the, the number one thing you think of is, okay, some of your guards are going to have to step up, but do you think about juggling different type of rotation and line? This is the, really the first week that I've got an opportunity to tinker with so, uh, playing Nebraska on Thursday and playing, playing Akron on Sunday. We didn't really have any opportunity so you know, we'll, we'll mess with a couple different lineups and see what it looks like. Uh, but, you know, everybody's got a little different take on a little bit more. And I think guys understand that and are willing to do that. How important are the last two non-conference games to you know, keep the strong momentum heading into that? It's very important. To, you know, Cal's going to win a lot of games in the Pac-12. You know, they lost a tough game uh, to UNLV the other night uh, on a last-second shot. Uh, so they're going to be ready to go. It's a big game for them as well. They're not going to want to lose two in a row on their home court. Uh, so it's going to have to, uh, I really firmly believe it's going to take our best effort of the year to go in there and win. Greg, you talked about a little bit in there, but how important is it to keep Josh involved? Not only for Josh, but for his team, you can have him around in the presence. Yeah, he, was, he was great on the bench Sunday, you know, just pulling guys uh, pulling guys aside as they came off the floor and uh, you know, talking to guys in the, in the huddle. Uh, and, you know, those things are very valuable to us, you know, as I said. Was with Josh, and I think it's equally important for Josh to stay involved and feel part of, make sure he feels part of this, and that he's uh, he's contributing to our success. And uh, I think he can still do that from the sidelines until we get more answers. What do you know, Crab or Crab A or Crab? Yeah, crab. Uh, he's one of the top scoring guys in the country, and he can do it in a lot of ways. And at six six, he shoots with a great range. He does some things off the dribble. He'll slide him into the post. Uh, and he can score. Score baskets when he's really challenged, and that's uh, going to be—it's going to be a great challenge for us. We've played against some good guards, but none of them have been six six. Did he make the USA team? Or did he just go? Through the he went through the tryouts, and I think he maybe uh, injured a knee or something slightly during the tryouts and wasn't able to finish.